Plymouth fire causes significant damage. Evers won't phase out school vouchers in first state budget. Wombat basketball has record-breaking season. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Pfister, and this is Community News Review for Wednesday, February 20th, 2019. Firefighters returned to a mobile home on County Road C near Plymouth Wednesday morning as a fire from Tuesday night flared back up again. Crews from more than a half dozen fire departments responded to the blaze in County Road C in the town of Plymouth on Tuesday night. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department says they got the 911 call around 10.45 p.m. There is no word on what caused the fire or any injuries, and the mobile home and unattached shed at the property suffered significant fire and smoke damage. Governor Tony Evers' first state budget will not include a plan to phase out school vouchers. Evers said Monday that he is looking to provide better accountability and transparency within the program, but would not include a proposal to phase it out. Evers' comments came at a Marquette Law School forum in Milwaukee, and Evers is supporting an effort to include information on property tax bills, saying how much easier, how much taxpayer is spending on vouchers for private school students in their district. Some school districts, including Milwaukee and Racine, are already providing that information. When a family opts to use a state voucher to cover some of the costs of a private school or religious school, the public school district loses that amount of state aid. Evers campaigned on eliminating the school voucher program, but says that isn't possible while Republicans control the legislature. Republicans had sought to aggressively expand the school voucher program. Originally for Milwaukee student only, it now covers 7,100 students who attend more than 200 different schools. Incumbent Mayor Paul Soglin and former Alder Satya Rhodes Conway are advancing in Madison's race for mayor. Soglin got 29% of the vote among the five candidates on the ballot. He is seeking a record ninth term, and Soglin received the most votes, 10,771, in Tuesday's primary finishing just ahead of Rhodes Conway with 10,448. They will be on the ballot in the general election on April 2nd, and Elder Mo Cheeks finished in third place, followed by environmental advocate Raj Shukla. Comedian Nick Hart received 1% of the vote. The state's largest business lobby has concerns about workplace safety if marijuana is decriminalized. In a statement, Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce President Kurt Bauer says that Evers' stance on decriminalization puts the state at odds with federal law and will make the workplace unsafe. The safety of our workers in this state should be of utmost concern for the governor and legislators. He says there is not enough research to show if pot can be used safely and that there is research that shows if it makes people unable to safely use heavy equipment. The University of Wisconsin Board of Regents has authorized the University of Wisconsin Green Bay to establish the UW system's first Bachelor of Science degree in water science. The major will have a principal focus on water's role in the natural processes in the Earth system, and students will develop a solid understanding of the chemistry, surface water, hydrology, groundwater, and biology of freshwater systems. 
Water is arguably the single greatest resource challenge of the 21st century, said John Luxage, PhD, UW Green Bay professor of geoscience. The world faces significant challenges regarding water quality, quantity, and eco ecological functions that are expected to worsen. The global need for water science professionals to solve critical water issues is accelerating and expected to continue indefinitely. From a student's perspective, Luxage says, UW Green Bay's four coastal campuses cover a unique geographic region of Wisconsin that provides research opportunities in surface water and groundwater that no other university can duplicate. Graduates will be well equipped to enter graduate school or to start a water science career. Many water professionals in Northeast Wisconsin voiced their support for the new program. Executives from the Green Bay Water Utility New Water, the Wisconsin Rural Water Association, and Green Bay Fish and Wildlife Conservation Office. Bellevue Public Works Utility and the Clean Water Action Council of Northeast Wisconsin were among those who wrote letters of support. The undergraduate program will be housed in the Natural and Applied Sciences NAS unit of UW Green Bay's College of Science, Engineering, and Technology. It is expected to welcome its first cohort of students as early as fall of 2019. The water science program will be primarily designed for face-to-face -face delivery, but instruction is also expected to take advantage of online and in-field immerse opportunities. Students will have opportunities to work as research assistants on faculty projects, develop internships, or conduct their own independent projects. UW Green Bay faculty are very active in research on water and wastewater treatment runoff pollution, stream hydrology, groundwater quality, limnology, and aquatic ecology. Core courses will be drawn from geoscience, chemistry, environmental science, biology, physics, math, and statistics, and public and environmental affairs. This interdisciplinary program is not consistent with UW Green Bay's history of research and teaching related to water resources. It accomplishes a proposal water, freshwater initiative and the First Nations First Integrated Higher Education Multi-Institutional Program centered on serving the freshwater economy being developed by UW-Milwaukee and other UW institutions. UW-Green Bay faculty and staff will be inter integral partners with the UW-Milwaukee-led initiative, which aims to make Wisconsin a wide world hub for freshwater science to address real world water related issues. Examples like the lead contamination crisis of Flint, Michigan, the ongoing arsenic exposure in Bangladesh, and the water crisis in Cape Town. South Africa are examples of the global need for water expertise. The program will also expand opportunities for collaboration in the region through engagement with business, not-for-profit, and government agencies. It will prepare students for career opportunities in private industry, water utilities, geotechnology, consulting, natural resource management, state and federal government agencies, or environmental policy organizations. And finally, congratulations to the UW Green Bay Sheboygan campus men's basketball team the Wombats won the 2018-2019 WCC Eastern Division with a 14-2 record and will play in the, U in the WCC Final Four February 22, 2019 at just a game fieldhouse opening with a 2 o'clock p.m. game versus Baraboo. Six-foot-seven sophomore Wombat athlete Dylan Martins was voted WCC East Player of the Year. 
Dylan averaged 27 points per game and 13.9 rebounds per game. He has broken the se single season scoring record currently with 585 points. The single season rebounding record with 309 and is the Wombats all time leading rebounder with 448 points. Dylan also broke the single season free throws made record with the 146 and single game field goal made with 20 points. His career point total of 764 points puts him at fifth all time in scoring. Dylan is also an excellent student with a 3.29 GPA. Six foot one sophomore Wombat ath student athlete Quentin Boudouin was voted second team WCC All Conference. Quinton averaged 16.7 points per game and is currently 11th all time in Wombat's history with 628 points over his two year career. Six foot four freshman Wombat student athlete Steve Sikowski was voted second team WCC All Conference. Steve nearly averaged a triple double for the season with 12.1 points per game. 9.7 rebounds per game, and 7.1 assists per game. Steve is already 12th all-team in assists with 146 points. Coach William Greenwood II was voted 2018-2019 WCC East Coach of the Year. This is Coach Greenwood's second COY award in the last three years. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Friday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.